So we're going to look at example 6 now. So we're told the Cessna 152 aircraft has uh, an 0235 engine that delivers 82 kilowatts at 2550 revs per minute. Assuming the shaft is solid and has a shear stress limited to 90 mega newtons per meter squared, determine the diameter of the propeller shaft. Okay, so um, these are the, the formulas that we, that we use for all the torsion examples. This is the pertinent information uh, from the question. So I have power and I have uh, RPM. So I have power and I have, um, uh, essentially I, can, I, I have radians per second. So I can work out the torque. So populating uh, the formulas uh, with what we know. So uh, tau is 90, 10 to the power 6, mega newtons per meter squared. Uh, I don't know what the radius is, so it's just d over 2. The uh, omega is 2550 multiplied by 2 pi divided by 60. That turns out to be 267 radians per second. The uh, torque, we can arrange this equation. Torque is power over omega. So the power was 82 kilowatts. From the question. Omega is 267 from here, so that gives me a torque value of 307 newton meters. The shaft is a solid sh um, shaft, so we have no small d here. So our second polar moment of area is just pi d to the power 4 all over 32. So I'm going to take this part of the equation and bring it down. And I'm going to substitute in our values. So our torque T, well, we calculated that to be 307. So that's our 307. J is just pi d to the power 4 all over 32. That's the same, and that is the same. So what I'm going to do first to get rid of these fractions, so I'm going to multiply above and below the line here by 32, and above and below the line here by 2. I'm now going to uh, bring the d to the power of 4 up here and bring the 90 by 10 to the 6 down here. So it's just cross multiplication. That then becomes d cubed. So if I want to get a d value, I get the uh, cubed root of this expression here. So I'm going to put that into the calculator. Okay, so we're going to get the cubed root of so it's 32 multiplied by 307. Well, don't know if you can hear the rain coming through there in the background. That's absolutely bucketing down now. So 2 by 90, 10 to the power of 6. And we're going to multiply that then by pi. Let's check those values. And if I hit enter, I should get 0.258, which is really 0 0.026. Sorry, 0 0.0258, which is really 0 0.026, which is 26 millimeters. And that's our uh, that's our solution.